have here at the Clovis Invitational. New meet record, 1653. How are you feeling first? Um, tired, <laughs> but um, really good. My whole team did super well, so it's just a huge um, team effort, basically, for all of us. And just, you know, me running that time is just a cherry on top, so. You said you can run this course blindfolded. Take me through mile by mile, like a couple things you've learned on just being the, being so close to this course the last couple of years. I think for me, it's mostly um, not worrying about the first mile. Everyone takes it out fast, and you just have to like recognize that either you're taking it out just as fast, or you know that everyone's gonna go fast, so you slow down a little bit. I'm more of a I like running in the front, so I just kind of go off what everyone else is doing for the first mile. And we came by at that 5:20, and I was like. We're gonna be fast today. Like it's gonna be a quick day. So the second mile, low key, kind of sucks. There's no one out there ever. Like I feel like if anyone watching this is like wondering where to cheer, please go to the second mile. There's nobody out there ever. It's not boring, but there's like it's just you and the person you or yourself. Like for me, league and valley, it's just me running out there by myself. It's never like fun. But you get to the second mile, and there's all those people lined up on the top of the hill. The hills kind of suck too but like you push through it and then you get to the top and it's just the last mile and the last mile is hard just because you like are so close to being done but like not quite like you know you still have a whole mile and miles not a lot but in this race it is so it just like for me it's mostly just about like making sure that you're consistently pushing yourself like no matter what part of the race it is no matter if someone's around you or not that's a big thing for me it's just consistently you know, trying your best and putting it all out there, even if there's no one out there to compete with. Obviously, new meet record. How's your confidence heading in towards the rest of the year, leading into state at this um, of course? Huge. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty humble. Um, you know, I always think that you know someone out there is gonna beat me. You know, I'm not. I never think that I'm the best person out here on the starting line. I knew there were multiple girls out here that could run just as fast as me or faster, and the. Um, girl that got second really gave me a run for my money for all of it basically so huge congrats to her but like I said going into the rest of the season running that fast is just a huge confidence boost going in because if I'm running that fast now how fast can I run in November so it's it's pretty exciting. Obviously your mindset's a little different because you're here all the time versus mm -hmm. the other teams who only come here two or three times. What was your mindset coming into today? Um, my mindset mostly is you know you know this course you practice on this course it's just go out there and have fun and me having fun is just coming out and competing and racing fast and racing other people and like that's usually like that was my big mindset coming in is just you know coming out here relaxing having fun and just knowing where my fitness at this year is and you know it paid off.